we went to the store. Got a couple things. I got these. Um, these will be good with just wire will at some places. I have one, but Katie's going to help me. So basically what I'm going to do is I'll put one in each drill and everything. We go from there. Then I've got my, my bowls. What I've been wanting that really is just to put the bolts in so we can kind of mark what we have and everything. It's like a dollar at the uh, Dollar Tree. I got two of them because I don't want to lose anything, especially for a truck with some of the bolts. The bolts are in good shape. Um, just, you know, whichever ones that I broke and stuff, I'll replace. And, well, <laughs> I bought this. I went to, actually went to Walmart and just tried to buy one because I really didn't need this for anything particular except for the fuel tank. They didn't have one, so I had to go to Lowe's and of course Craftsman is a whole lot more. Um, but, I, I should have went to Harbor Freight, but they were a little bit farther away, so I was like, screw it, we'll just go here. So we have this which is going to be used to get that stupid little bolt off right there. It cost me $15 to get that bolt off. Not that bad, though. I think this should be long enough, but we have, I've been needing one anyway, so we're gonna go ahead, take that bolt off, drop this tank, and see how it is back there. And also, whenever I removed this hose, it just moved it a little bit, it broke right there. So it shows that the fuel lines on this truck need to get replaced. And even for second gens, anything back here, especially like brake lines or anything, usually rust because there's like like condensation and stuff. Because it ain't open and exposed, it's kind of tucked back in a corner. As you see, look at the, the lines and everything. But as you see back in there, so we're going to go ahead and check all the lines. We'll probably put all new fuel lines and everything. So that's no problem. I've been wanting to do this anyways. So let's go ahead and remove that stupid bolt. Oh, yeah. We, we got set up now. This is actually the longest extension they had. I don't know if I need it longer or shorter, but it's going to work. It's Craftsman. Yeah. Got a Walmart Stanley ratchet. Got an impact socket from Harbor Freight and a Craftsman extension. So what's your Craftsman extension since that's the only name brand thing we got break on us. All right, let's go ahead and get this off. Holy crap, I might have to get <laughs> there's the truck. Do you actually <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to <laughs> Alright, so I ended up cutting that bracket because we couldn't get off stuff. So basically that the extension helped a little bit, but the bolt stripped out. From the other bolt, this came undone. But on the other one, this came undone. So he's underneath trying to Get it down but it wouldn't come so that's all right we're not going to use it anyway so if i let this down this should let the fuel maybe yeah. that was anti-climatic i know right what the there's still a bracket there This one off, but frame looks good. It's got a little rubber piece here, thing here. So that's a plate cover. It looks like a plate cover. A, a switch cover. <laughs> Never know what you find. All right, well, we'll go ahead and pull this out from under here, set it to the side, and 
that's one of the big steps that we had to do. All right, so we got the fuel tank out and everything. Still got to remove the straps. Um, going to need all new fuel lines. That's a big definite. This was the brake line, so eventually they were going to go to. Um, it's just the truck sat for so long. But I mean, it was driven a little bit, but my dad, when he got sick and stuff, he didn't drive it that much. And I didn't either, because I was always working or something. So it sat for a little bit. But I know that we're going to go ahead and pop all this wiring off and then basically just probably zip tied up front or something and because I still got it we had to cut the wires back here for the lights and stuff I'm gonna go ahead and add those back still got to get a uh, socket for the reverse lights and stuff so we can't wire that up all later when we get ready to put the bed back on but I'm just gonna pull all the wiring back and check all the brake lines and stuff and see what we need to get because i want to get the copper ones i need to go to harbor freight and get the tools so i can flare it and everything but i am going to get the copper one so i can run it kind of like oem style i'll look up some pictures online because these is not being ran oem style um only thing is i think we'll have problem from basically this because i don't think these are going to come off very well and i'm pretty sure it's going to be expensive if i can even get it because most of the parts on this truck, like I couldn't even find a fuel tank for a daggone thing. Luckily, mine was so good, but we're going to do a fuel cell. But I want to see if I can find it. Um, that way, it's all new when we put on because I'm not in a hurry right now because we still have to clean the frames. Like I said, we're going to clean basically everything axle, new shocks. Uh, the axles will be completely clean. Um, the exhaust, right now, since we're not putting a new motor in it just yet, probably going to cut the bad part off and just have it come out to the side here. Uh, just so when we do put the bed on it's there and everything I'm gonna get rid of some of these um, Brackets that we don't need like that was basically I'm guessing I think that one of this side was a mud flap This might have just been for the exhaust just to hold it. I'm not for sure But like I said, we're going to tidy this thing up and try to make it look a little bit better than what it does now I didn't really know what that was called. So I did some research and everything. It's called a proportion block um I actually found out it's actually not even hooked up like the lines going in we just have one solid brake line coming back and splitting off so like I said don't really know what was done back in the day to this truck or whatever but uh, I'm going to go ahead so I've been looking to see if I can find one of those because I like everything back the way it should be but I'm going to go ahead and basically pull the uh, wires out of here I've got these and which basically keep going through. I wish I had the tool that would <laughs> do this for you. The it's like a prong thing. I had some, and guess what? I don't know where they are. I think they're in my other shop. I'll buy some more of that and everything. Make sure we get some good ones. And then this comes over here. I think we're just going to push it through. We're going to try to push it through. There we go. All right, so we went ahead, took, I, I put a little piece of tape on it because I didn't want nothing to get in it. Uh, from the looks of it, if we don't use the proportion block, which I talked to one of my friends and they said that we could actually do away with it because I literally had brakes before. But we are going to take the, the block ahead and take out the frame. Um, from the looks of it, we got the rear pose going down. Then I guess it's kind of like a breather or like overflow. Uh, we got the Brake line going there and there, so we're gonna put new copper line there, copper line there, new drums, brake pads, all new spring kit and everything, even a new uh, brake cylinder, so it's all gonna be new. Um, 
Might as well since we're doing it. And I'm gonna go ahead and believe it or not, these bolts was actually broke loose pretty good. I think they're actually it's like an internal thread, so it didn't show any outside wear. Can you come hold this camera? Oh, so I don't so I don't drop it. My camera personnel. Alright, here we go. Some old dirt and everything. It's rubber right there apparently. There's rubber, huh? Got some little bit of frame. Basically just a lot of surface rust. Some thick surface rust. But we got that. That thing is like completely toast. There's no way you'd be able to get those. Uh things off we'd have to buy a new one like 100 percent anyways put this over there and i think now it's just i want that uh line right there and then the fuel line on uh, unhook those so we can kind of move them out of the way because we are going to do new fuel lines i think i might be able to actually order pre-bent fuel lines online and if i can just get the fuel lines there then we can run the rest of the fuel line wherever we put the uh the actual fuel uh fuel cell but we are making progress. It's, it's super hot out here right now, so I'm burning up. But once we get all this and stuff, uh, we're going to start, like with the wire wheels and stuff, start playing up the frame pretty good and getting it ready for the poor 15. All right, so basically I just got everything, the line, everything took off. Um, still got to remove the fuel line stuff and then the brake line. I've got that one. Can't really see it, but there's a brake line that runs halfway under there. Probably stops around here. I'm going to hook everything. But it is getting nighttime. And guess what? The coolest thing. We now have light switches. I've been wanting to wire the garage and everything up. We do have some light switches. Just have to clean up the wiring just a little bit. But we have light. We have we have power all the way around and stuff i'm so excited and everything so it's gonna be a lot better we're getting the shop really really good so it's a big shout out to kenny um actually it's a uh, cage dad to help me everything so we're, we're pretty good so that i kind of took up my evening for working on a truck but i definitely need to do all that check it out ripping the ghost shirt we'll soon be on a merch store we'll be dropping the name and everything of the merch store hopefully in the next couple of days um so make sure to be on the lookout for that. I'll be posted on my Instagram, Facebook page, and also, of course, the community page on YouTube. But today we are back out here, and it is absolutely roasting in here. I don't have a fan. I'm going to have to go. I'm thinking about going to Royal King or something, buying me a fan and stuff. But today we're going to be back on the truck and stuff. Um, where we left off was, I was basically, I got all the wiring harness, everything done out. Um, I was actually moving a brake line around. Just over a little bit and it broke so that tells you how bad the brake line in this truck was and the fuel line but I want to go ahead and unbolt the fuel line there so it's off the frame I'm going to order I'm going to order all pre hopefully if I can find it a uh, pre-bent fuel line so I can run from up front all the way to the back so that's completely new we ain't gotta worry about that um and I'm going to unhook the uh brake line that's under there so we're gonna get that started and once that's done i can go ahead and just start cleaning all this and um i've got my drill on charge and uh i gotta charge my other one too but i got my drills on charge i've got some new wire i actually have an old wire brush but <laughs> we've got some uh, uh new brushes and stuff like that wire wheels that's what we're going to be using and of course to coat the frame in we are going to be using some poor 15 stop rust but once i clean the frame and stuff i'm going to push the truck outside again and uh pressure wash it and stuff and and we'll push it back in but that is what is going to on to today's vlog if i don't melt oh my gosh it's hot in here but anyways let's go ahead and get started and uh hopefully we'll get at least a little bit of this frame done all right so i'm making a list as we go um so far we need fuel line bracket because i was taking the bracket off and it's completely rusted out i actually had to bend a little of the bracket back just to get to the actual bolt 
So we need a fuel line bracket. Hopefully when we buy a whole new fuel line, so come with that. If not, we'll have to try to find that. We need brake guns, brake shoes, brake kit, which is the hardware, the springs and everything. Um, uh, for the drums and everything. And then we need brake lines, which we're gonna get the copper lines. And then we also need um, brake cylinder. All right, so we need brake cylinders and that. So that's times two of all that. And I think the kit, the hardware kit comes with one, uh, two already put together in it. So we need all of that. Um, still working on removing the uh, fuel lines and also the brake lines, but I had to, I, I had to make a list because I was like, you know what? I need to make a list because when I do that, then I can sit there and go and see how much everything is. And I'll probably just order it online and then go pick up the store because sometimes they give you like a 20% or like $25 coupon off. Really don't know how much all that stuff is, but hopefully not too much. Also, we need shocks. I'll put that on there too. We're going to do OEM shocks for it. All right, so got all this gone. Um, I got to remove that bracket right there. I've got the emergency brake uh, cables on down. Moved all that out, and I've got some stuff behind here. But for the most part, it's just going to be some cleaning. I got to remove that bracket, but it's just going to be a lot of deep cleaning right now. I've got my wire brush on there. I got a drill charging so she can go to town over there. Um, but basically we're just going to try to clean this as good as we can and wire brush it and stuff and then go from there. But I'm probably going to work on this little spot going down. Like I said, I got to move that. So we're just going to basically clean her favorite thing to do. And of course we got inside the frame we got to clean out too. I got some, uh, wire brushes. So we're Still working on there because I'm gonna try to go over the cross member. Basically, do half and come back, and then we'll go on the other side and do the other half. This will take a while. We're not trying to get it down perfectly smooth or anything. We're just trying to get the rust, the rust of the rust off. Because that 415 is supposed to, when you paint, it's supposed to have self leveling. So I hope it fills in some of the craters and dips and everything. But we're trying to get a lot of this, you know, just loose stuff that is on there up. All right, so you can tell why that looks wet right there. It's I had WD-40 out or a PV blaster. I was extra spraying so it ain't dry yet. We'll have to wipe that everything off. But we got the degrees and everything like that. But we have the frame. As you can see, I stopped right there at that bracket. And she's been working on the back there. So you can see a big difference on, you know, what hasn't been touched or not. I mean, it's not the smoothest, but it's better than being untouched and everything. And then of course, been going over all this. So we'll go over it really good. Basically, it's just gonna be a lot of, um, just over and over, just basically uh, cleaning the frame down everything. So hopefully in the next video, we'll be ready to actually like uh, use the chemical cleaner and stuff on it. And 
getting ready for paint. I do have to run and get all the parts and everything. Um, I said before I was going to put uh, stock fuel lines, but I talked to one of my buddies and I was telling him what I was going to do with the truck. And he said he would just go basically run my own fuel lines and stuff. Because if we go with stock fuel lines, um, we're not putting the stock fuel tank in and we're going to be running a different motor. So we'll just put our own. Uh, I'll have to look and see uh, what we can come up with and everything. But I will have to pick up all this stuff for the truck and everything. I got a list, so hopefully I can get that um, in, before, you know, in the next video. We'll have a lot of that. But once the frame is done and stuff, we can start running the brake lines and stuff and get the new shocks and everything on. And I'm also going to loosen the um, shock bolts and stuff when we're painting. That way, when I do loosen it, it won't, you know, scratch anything. Because I'm not putting new shocks on until we're completely done. But we're going to paint the rear end and everything with the poor 15. So everything should look brand new, fingers crossed and stuff. But anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. I know it was kind of a short one, and I know it's kind of been the same thing. But we've been tearing the frame down, of course, in stages. I know, like, this bolt right here, this bolt, and there's two bolts in here, gave me a pain today because... Um, this is where the fuel tank sat and like all of the moisture and stuff was always in here So they were really rusted, but the frames in great shape. So I'm really you know, happy with that I was scared to death it was gonna be really rusty and a hole in holes everywhere, but it's not But anyways guys that is going to do it for this video and don't forget these shirts will be dropping soon Uh, will be it's actually gonna be a whole new store and everything. Um, she's actually gonna be running it uh, but it's going to be a whole new store and everything, so definitely I'll be posting a link there for that and y'all can get y'all some of this. Or even like a red, white, and blue. And I've been wearing the crap out of this in the garage, so it, it doesn't break or anything. But red, white, and blue, uh, the ghost thing. <laughs> America. Anyways, guys, hope everybody's having a great day. This is George. Well, hang on, sorry. This is Ghost. And Katie. And we are out of here. Wait, hey, hey. Are you, are you done? Slacker? My drill died. Slacker? Oh, oh. For you. It's that too. Oh. Yeah. oh.